What's more dangerous? Someone that's not afraid to die, one who's found everything to live for. I asked him if he was proud of me as he laid his pecan-colored head on my chest and he replied yes. And I went through my mind a thousand times to figure out what that could possibly mean and every single option ended in motivation for me. So you may not be afraid to die, but I'm more afraid to let him down. So we sat down and traced out African kings and queens of past, absent of sound, his face absent of stress. I watched as that pencil pressed and regressed, impressed and digressed all at the same time. It reminded me of my own approach, live and let learn, teach and be taught, take it all in. I probably should have wrote it all down, but this is just going to have to do for now. He's taught me more than I could ever give him credit for and probably more than I'll ever know. But one thing's for sure, I see his face when I step on stages, when I write these words down on pages, when I put these two feet down on pavement. This is my gift to society, my rights of passage. You think I'm going to let the world take that from me? When that little boy sitting at home relying on me and he asked to hear my music, I remain calm, but inside I'm losing it. He's not too cool for me. I return that sentiment, I'll never be too cool for him. But he pee standing tall cause he saw me do it, so that effect has been noted. But please let it be noted, I told my job they can dock my pay. Right now it's just way more important to take you to school every day. Just so he can walk through those doors with his chest poked out as he's allowed me to. I walk standing tall because of you. And a lot of what I'm teaching you, your grandparents taught me. And these streets can't have you. I become way too selfish. I release myself from so many situations. I become so selfless. See, I was a man with a plan. You could hear it in my voice. But being a father is an honor, a duty, a choice. And I chose you. If you fail, it's all on me. Nobody else. Not even your wonderful mother. As amazing as she is. And that she is. But if you fail, it's all on me. I remember the first time I talked to him on the phone. He was only two. I was down in Texas performing and I told him I'm trying my best just to make you proud. And he probably had no clue what I was saying to him, but he ended that conversation with I love you. And I cried. I lived. You may not be afraid to die, but I found something to live for and that's a dangerous motive forever fuel. Your thoughts may be involuntary, but these actions are very calculated. See, I was a man with a plan, but now I'm a dad with a decree and you can't take that from me. My son ain't raised by no coward and he won't be one either. If this be the measure of a man, the yardstick gonna need way more meters. I take it too far so he never comes up short and that's an extended metaphor. So I ask you again, what's more dangerous? Someone that's not afraid to die or one who's found everything to live for?